So the good brother Kevin went from asking men how big they Johnsons were on live call-in shows to falling out on top of plus-size Mexicans that were probably only there to catch that geriatric coin real quick, allegedly. Just my thoughts, no facts. But before we get into that, let's get into my comment section, y'all. I'm talking about the girls were mad. They came out with pitchforks for me. So our first honorable mention is Timothy Williams. I don't know what would possess a grown man to think that it was funny to joke about a child being abused or assaulted or taken advantage by a grown man who's supposed to be their step parent. Either way, y'all, these are the type of men that you have to stay away from. And I put it on my community tab, but here's the deal. It's like people can have opinions. They can have a difference of opinion. They can agree. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, that type of pathology right there where that's somehow supposed to be a ha 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 quote unquote joke, but we know it's probably his reality where you would think that it's funny to joke about a grown man taking advantage of a stepchild yeah see you have to be careful with those men because those are the type of men that when they see you in the mall and they're like hey they say hi to you and you don't hear them or you just don't feel like speaking and you don't speak they run up on you and want to put their hands on you or they see you in the subway and because you're not giving them the attention that they desire they try to fill you up or, or assault you do crazy stuff to you these are the type of men we have to watch out for and you know what he got a whole bunch of thumbs on that comment on my page i wish i could see everyone who was thumbsing it up because i put them all on blast but let's go ahead and move on to the good brother kevin now i have never seen r.i.p stand for rest and piss when i tell y'all that one took me back i was like whoa what is going on here and here's the thing you always have somebody who's trying to help hopefully these men will rethink their life choices and decide to do better that man told her, well, hopefully you can mind your damn business because we don't want to change anything about how we think. So this is the thing, women. You cannot save everyone. You just can't. Some men, you just have to let them go. And the thing is, for you to even walk around and feel as though you can help them, that's kind of a sense of superiority where you feel like, you know what, I have the answer. I can help them. No, maybe the point is you're not supposed to help them. Save yourselves, women. Leave them men to be. Whatever they will be, let thy will be done. Now, first things first, there is so much going on about this situation. They're talking about Kevin was up there hitting that Chanel Shane and, you know, it might have been laced with some stuff. I don't know. That's just a rumor. Um, I kind of hinted on that in my video yesterday where I said I'm not going to put anything out there. But since everyone else has already put it out, there you go. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. This is Atlanta. I wasn't thinking that Chanel Shane, but, you know, I'm thinking it may be something illicit going on. And and then let's talk about this woman. So apparently she would be the poster child for the danger zone. What they say, she's like 32, 33, grown woman. Um, she's a nurse. I don't really get the whole people in the health industry out here engaging in illicit acts with you know people that they don't know this is just weird you're supposed to be a health professional so wouldn't that mean that you would be held to a higher standard just like if a police officer you know what probably not because they didn't say what type of nurse she could just be a, a aide an assistant and I'm not saying that those people are less than or anything but uh I don't know it just says I don't get licensed vibes I don't get higher education vibes she met a man met kevin i bet you he found her on one of those apps and you know maybe the girl needed to catch that geriatric coin real quick so she went over there and was bothered with him and then the next morning all of a sudden the good brother kevin then fell out but anyway i really hate that she's being put in this because the thing is she's a plus size girl there's nothing small about her she's cute in the face but She's everything that Kevin said don't be bothered with. And this is a big part of the problem. You have so many men that are like, oh, well, she's good enough to have sex with, but she's not good enough to be in a relationship with. Here's the thing. If you're out of alignment, you are the problem. What man with a purpose on a mission would ever engage in sexual activity with a woman that he does not see a future with? You're toxic. You're the problem. You're disgusting. Ladies, you guys need to take heed to these types of things. If a man is willing to sleep with you, but he's he wouldn't be interested in doing anything else he's not a man of quality you shouldn't be bothered with a man that would be willing to sleep with a woman 
but that's all she's good for that says a lot about him it says a whole bunch about a man that ha puts more value on his heart than he does on his body so what that tells me is he's probably emotionally fragile kind of like those those bums that are in my comment section shout out to y'all he's probably very emotionally fragile has been hurt in the past or afraid of getting hurt in the future so he will sling his peen everywhere you know miss the hot peen he'll give it to anyone who's willing to take it but at the end of the day that's not the peen you want because it probably has too many miles on it it probably is trash he probably has you know he's just lackluster in his mind in his thinking so i would think that he would probably be lackluster in his performance stay away from a man who's willing to sleep with a woman that he would see no future with stay away from a man that is not in full alignment with his mind his spirit his soul his heart and his body they're dangerous they are a cancer to the community run but anyway back to old brother kevin when I tell you he was making all kinds of people mad on social media, just check out the comments. I was like rolling, looking at the comments like this is crazy. I just like I said yesterday, I don't I'm not here for making fun of the demise of anyone. I don't think that's cool. But I think to call out facts is just facts. And if you were talking that same yang 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 before he passed, then I mean, what would be the difference in saying how you feel now? I, I think it goes hand in hand. And then there is some pastor who decided to go out and say he's going to make a public service announcement no one should be talking bad about kevin women you need i caution you to do this and do that pastor fuck you because at the end of the day was you saying all of that when kevin was doing what he was doing and spilling all his uh spewing all of his hatred and his vitriol toward women because if not then yeah you need to shut the fuck up because nobody cares but i'm gonna tell y'all the best comment so far was this right here it was like oh yeah he's dead oh that's nice time to go make my nail appointment anyway but the sisterly sentiments for this video is ladies and gentlemen because there are some really toxic women out there but i'm not talking about them right now i'm talking about the men especially the men in my comment section beware of the creeps out there when i tell y'all women you need to open up your dating pool and stop being race loyal because race loyalty will get you absolutely nowhere that is not the move y'all be careful because there are a lot of dangerous people out here in this world and that you know danger has no color but at the end of the day if you are loyal to somebody just because you share a complexion with them you're putting yourself in a disadvantage and this is the type of if this is what you have like your dating pool Cool. Babe, it's time to open that thing up. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think of this video.